welcome back we are on the lake again today we are going after crappie preferably but panfish it's our my boy's favorite thing to do and we're going to be testing two baits so normally we like to use real earthworms because they always work well but uh, because we don't have any and because these are just they're gonna last longer we're gonna test out two new baits um, we're, we're gonna test out the power bait honey worms power worm and they're just like little red guys like that and then we're also gonna be testing out the gulp maggot which they look pretty good we're gonna see which one works better or if they work at all uh, it's about 6 45 a.m. See if we can get a little bit of that morning bite. Which one do you guys think is going to work better? Maggots. This one. Maggots. Maggots. I'm kind of thinking that that might work better for crappie, the red worms, and the maggots will work better for bluegill. Okay, so we've just got a tiny little jig head. I believe it's a 16th. Uh, there's the size comparison to my pinky nail. So we're going to throw on the power honey worm. Just like that, it looks very deadly actually. That looks really good. So we're gonna go ahead and just drop this down and Riv's gonna start jigging it. Okay, so there's the little maggot. We're gonna do the same thing, same jig head. Uh, I don't know if it'll look quite as good because it's, but it is softer, I do like that. We're just gonna go ahead and just stick that on kind of like that and drop it down. Go ahead, Abel. Okay. Have you tried that, Abel? Uh, yeah. Oh. Fish? Yeah, it felt like it. Set the hook if you feel a bite. Oh, I think what? you got one. Good job, Abel. Oh, it feels like a big one. We've all had fish now, dude. Way better than them. We're doing good. Woo! Ooh, that's a, that's a nice one. Long. Very long bluegill. Let's go, dude. Yeah, dude. Oh, he swallowed it. Let's Keep go. him anyways. He's big, dude. That's a tank of a bluegill. For around here. Dude, I cannot believe we have three fish going to be on the ice as soon as I put this on. Finally got the new lose reel spooled up. I'm really a big fan of these. I did a video a while back of why I like them so much. But they're just very durable. One major bummer is that I forgot my fish finder at home today and that thing helps so much. So we're literally doing this old school. We've got no um, no electronics. We did add like a split shot to help get down to the uh, bottom. Mine was at the bottom, but I really know. Man, this line's no good. Basically just going to let the wind drift us and give it a jig every once in a while. A little, oh, I had a bite. Just had a bite, guy. Got a fish. Oh, I it. No, it's mine. Oh, That's a good bite. Good little good fighter. Oh, nice bluegill, guys. <laughs> that's okay, an, so that's an eater. The so they're, Sweet. They're the <sighs> Let's put the fish on that side. Well, he definitely chomped on that honey worm. That mm -hmm. was a pretty aggressive hit. Oh, something took my my bait. There you go. Oh, got one. Got one? Yeah. Hell yeah. Good I might job. actually try a honey worm. Might have to. Seems to be the bite so far. Good job. Ooh, that's keep a him? keeper. That's a keeper. Good job, Riv. Got him on the honey worm too. That's two for the honey worm. Yes. Fish on. Right underneath the boat, dude. Just jigging it. Oh, another nice one. Yeah. That's not as big, but. I'm telling you, you keep casting. I'm jigging now. I switched because the bite seems to be on the jig. Huh? That was not even the 
the size of my hand. Hope you think ice is nice. Not a bad haul, guys. These are really nice, nice bluegill. Meat. Telling you guys, the right underneath us. Seems like the jig bite is working. Morgan, that one's a little greener. That one that you're using. Yeah. Why? I don't know. Probably just because it hasn't been in the sun as much. Oh no, I see what you mean. Yeah, I don't know. Change the style, I guess. So make sure you're on the bottom. See how it's not dropping anymore? And then you reel up just a little bit and just kind of, you don't jerk it much, but just kind of watch it and give it a little twitch here and there. But I don't have down. Oh. oh, another one. <laughs> this is a good one, guys. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, he's pissing. Did you see that? He was peeing. Got him excited. Just give it a little twitch, little twitch, and then wait for a bite. And if you see a bite, just boom, set that hook. I made food. You like those honey worms, Riv? I do. I seriously love them. They're right here. Oh, is that a bone? Mm, I want Oh, I just had a hit, guys. How do you know you had a hit? I felt it. I never, I have not. Felt a hit in a while. Oh, oh my! Oh, girl, you felt the hit in a while. That looks like a nice one, dude. Oh, that's a good fish. Oh, it's a bass. It's a bass, dude. <laughs> and it took my worm. Good job, dude. Dude. Hold him out. Yeah, dude. That's awesome, man. Should we keep him? Nah, let's let him go. Let him get to be a big bass. Aw, oh, dude. Where should we name him? You name him. It's your bass. Black. Oh, oh, I got a fish too. Hold on. This one feels good too. Holy oh, cow. Dude, this is a nice fish. Dude, this one's a 10. Dude, this is a nice fish. Oh, he's 12. He's 12. Woo, Chungus nope. Bluegill he's too. He's 11. Yeah, you're right. About 11. Oh, having a great morning so far, man. We are just catching the living daylights out of them, which is awesome. If we put them in the cooler, then it, we would be like, oh, why would we do all right, I know I don't want to switch because these honey worms are just killing it, but I told you guys we were going to compare. So I'm going to switch over to the gulp maggots now and see if we do any good with those. It's getting hot. Fish? Riv, that's a fish, dude. Nice one. Holy cow. Holy cow, what did you get? A crappie. Nice. That was a nice gill though. That is a nice gill. Good job. He really Dang, he got happened. hey that was on the maggot, right? Yeah. Good job, Riv. I'm pretty sure. It was. Uh six? Seven. Alright, I'm probably like 10, 15 minutes into fishing these little uh maggot synthetic Ooh, maggots. Hold on, Abel. And I have not had a single bite we're gonna go move to where we were catching them earlier and test it but man it's not looking good for these really seems like those honey worms were just killing it compared to these oh, there we go there's one on the maggot got one oh. well that's two on the maggot well that's one for me too damn dude that's a nice one too hey buddy dang there we go he just ate it and fun boom got it done so far, I'm still more of a fan of the uh, the red worms, but I got my first one on the maggot, so by Berkeley. So uh, throw him in the ice. He's a nice one. All right, so I gave it like 15, 20 minutes on these. I caught one nice gill. River caught one as well. I'm gonna switch back to the reds, uh, the honey worms, because I just think they're better. So let's try it. Is there a Is there a There we go. There's one. That one? Yeah. Looks like a good bluegill. There we go. Not bad. There we go. Back to the red worms, man. Working. Good enough to keep. Check up. We were fishing a little off camera just because it is work setting up the camera. Just caught a slab of a crappie, dude. 
Oh, that is a nice one, dude. All right, the uh, red honeyworms by far, in my opinion, outperformed. So we're gonna take and make some ceviche, right, bud? You gonna help me? We'll see you um, at the once we load up at the launch. I'm letting some more line out. That's a hit. Reel it in and see. You want to keep him or let him go? Ah. Let him. Let him. Let him. Not a bad little haul, huh? Yep. Is there any last minute? This river must have thrown some of the smaller ones in. We were pretty good, I thought, about keeping only the big ones, but there's still a few got in here. Hmm. Hmm. It's okay, though. No. I can I wear any. I wear small ones, though. The nice thing about the small ones, though, is they are less wormy. Here, Abel. There's one that needs to be deboned. Good job, sissy. Alrighty, so we got our bluegill crappie fillets here, boneless. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and turn this into what's called ceviche, and you basically just cook it in lemon and, or lime and lemon juice. <clears throat> and uh, I've had this before with ocean fish; it's super good. I've never tried it, and I've never heard of it done with uh, with these guys. So we'll see how it how it turns out, and uh, show you a quick rundown of what you need to do. First off, we're gonna chop the fish into really small pieces. Dump that into the bowl. Let's cut these. You want enough to cover the meat or the flesh completely. And what will happen is this acid will actually cook the fish. I'm gonna go ahead and chop some tomatoes in here too. They're always good, but uh, you've seen enough. This is basically what needs to happen. Now it's cooking. We'll stick it in the fridge with the tomatoes, let it sit for at least 30 minutes, and go from there. Look at that. It's been three or four hours because I went to work. But this is the crappie and bluegill we caught this yep. morning. The white, is, the white is the bluegill and the crappie, the one crappie. River, you want to try? Yeah. And then let me know when you're ready, guys. Let's dink it. Mm. Wow. Mm. It's super good. Oh my god. Babe. It's good. Okay, Come try. Okay. Oh my okay. lord. Oh, sissy wants some. I get the seed out of here. I don't need a uh, lemon seed. Mmm. Mm. I can't believe this isn't more common. Can I rip the bowl? Don't go over, don't go over the bowl. Rip. Oh, rip. Rip. Keep your head over away from the bowl. <laughs> You want some, baby? Oh. What do you think, babe? She's gonna be the picky judge. 
Wow. Well, good? It doesn't even taste like the fish. No. Like, it's, it took I mean, out the fishiness, you know? Well, bluegill, they're not very fishy, and I skinned I it. So right. So I think it is important to skin them, don't mm -hmm. scale them. Yeah. But man, this is good. Like, premium grade A salsa here. I never did that. Mm. Good job, guys. I never job, did that. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, mm -hmm. that was amazing. Definitely give this a try because we are going to be probably halfway through this bowl tonight. It's so good. Um, good way to use your crappie and bluegill if you're tired of frying them. And uh, much healthier other lighter. than the chips. I'm um, it's so much we could just eat it without the chips. It's that good, but the chips do help. It's like comfort food. Mm. Good job, babe. What do you say, Apple? I hope you had a good time on this video. This is the copy and the bluegill from this morning. We caught Dan. Peace.